Hey, how's it going? This is Hakobo uh, with a little quick tutorial on center pivot um, and kind of creating things in sort of an array. Um, so I have, I wanted to create kind of like a clock tower thing, so I, I modeled this here using curve extrusions and stuff and um, duplicated it. And how I ended up doing it the first time. Uh, is yeah, I, du I would duplicate it and then kind of rotate it over and then position it and then if you hit duplicate again it'll save that and if you get it right um, it'll turn out like that which worked pretty well um, but I got to thinking um, well, first off, if you model something, or especially if you're grouping something, like if you group these together, um, or group different things, the center pivot might be really far off. So I just put this in my toolbar, um, going over it, and then hitting Control and Shift um, for Modify. Center pivot um, is how you could add it to your toolbar, because I use it all the time. Um, but what I realized um is you can set your own pivot um I use the home key I'm on a Mac but if you move the pivot you can set it to wherever you want and then if you don't like that you can put it back to the center by doing modify center pivot but now um when when I go to rotate it, um, and I realize you can also do it mathematically using your options, so if I duplicate it and, you know, rotate it 60 degrees, now you can see it's going from the center how we want it, um, whereas before um, it was going um, Sorry, before we did that, um, it was put in the center and didn't really rotate how we wanted it. So that's just a quick way you can change the center pivot and also use this mathematical data to rotate it around how you want it. 